Go. Well, hello. Uh, this is my third time that I'm providing some comments by video. Um, I enjoy doing it, but I must say that it's beginning to uh, cost me a lot of money because my videographer, uh, Jacqueline, my wife, is charging me now and she's uh, charging me in cash. But um, nonetheless, it's, uh, I, I enjoy doing this. So I appreciate um, you listening to me. And um, so what's happened this week in, uh, the, with respect to the coronavirus? Well, certainly it's, it was a challenging week as um, I warned you last week. The uh, number of deaths have uh, gone up this week. On the positive side, though, the hospitalizations have been down and the number of new cases have been down. So that's making some progress on that front. Uh, the big news this week, I suppose, has been the uh, realization that there was a, quite a bit of disparity in the, both the morbidity and mortality uh, due to race. Um, not really surprising, uh, given that health disparities do exist in this country. Look at infant mortality, for example, in Detroit, where um, among blacks, the infant mortality rate is three times that of whites. So it's, it's not surprising, but it certainly is something of uh, major concern. Whenever you have uh, structural inequities in the uh, healthcare system, as we do, you're going to have uh, these kinds of disparities. Um, and whenever there is a, a pandemic, as we're experiencing now, these kinds of uh, structural inequities just get uh, magnified in terms of uh, the consequences, which uh, in this case is uh, disparities in morbidity and mortality among uh, the different populations. I, I do hope that when we're done with this and we're back to some level of uh, normalcy in our lives, that we don't go back to um, life as normal with respect to our public health system. We've got to really deal with these disparities uh, in a serious fashion, which means dealing with the structural inequities that we have in our society, the uh, distribution of uh, uh, resources, the uh, social determinants of health, uh, education and income, and other social determinants that um, predict to a great extent uh, how healthy or unhealthy a person is going to be. Otherwise, when we have the next pandemic, and we will have one, um, we'll be, we will be uh, ill-equipped uh, yet again, and um, there'll be uh, excess uh, morbidity and mortality again uh, in certain populations, and we should not um, have to deal with that. Okay, so um, enough for, the, uh, uh, for that. It's a, a subject that I'm obviously passionate about and so I appreciate um, you listening to me with respect to that. Uh, on other news, um, fees for spring and summer uh, courses. We decided this week to uh, reduce the fees for uh, summer and uh, spring. As uh, you know, uh, these fees are uh, tacked on to tuition uh, mainly for two things. One is to uh, pay for uh, typically consumable uh, uh, supplies. Um, and the other is to enhance the um, on-campus experience, athletics and things like that. And since we're going to be continuing with remote instruction during the uh, spring and summer, it's only fair that these uh, fees are reduced. So there's going to be more detail uh, about that from the uh, provost, but I just thought I would mention that. The other thing is, and this is uh, something I'm not pleased to have to uh, talk about, but, um, but it's important, and, uh, and it has to do with the merit increases. As you know, uh, as many of you know, uh, merit increases for non-represented uh, staff are due about this time every year. And I uh, and we had to make the decision. I guess I should say, you know, I made the decision that, um, uh, we, given the financial situation and uncertainty uh, of um, 
the finances moving forward because of the coronavirus that it was best to suspend the uh, merit increases for those who make over the uh, average salary of uh, Wayne State employees. Those who are under the average salary will continue to get, you, get their merit increases uh, this year. Um, I hope that we uh, can all support uh, continuing to, to uh, provide merit increases for those uh, who are uh, not paid as, as well as uh, many of us are. Uh, so those who are in the upper half uh, will not get merit increases this, this year, at least for right now, and we'll reevaluate that in the summer when we have a better uh, picture of uh, what our finances are going to be. I appreciate everybody's understanding on that. The, um, the other thing I should probably um, mention at this time is that um, we, we, we're not really sure exactly what the financial uh, consequences are going to be for this uh, coronavirus. Uh, we're trying not to uh, make too many uh, predictions right now because there's so much that's unknown, but we are coming up with a lot of different scenario planning, uh, things that we could uh, do on the short term, uh, medium term, and long term, and um, these will start being rolled out over the next uh, several weeks to months, and I appreciate uh, everybody's uh, understanding and support as we have to make uh, certain changes. Let me uh, begin to wrap up. I'll, I'll wrap up by um, mentioning that the governor did uh, extend the uh, shutdown uh, through the end of the month. So I'm encouraging everybody to continue to stay indoors and do the things that you have to do, uh, both from a work standpoint as well as an um, enjoyment uh, uh, standpoint. Um, unless, of course, you're one of the uh, frontline workers. And to all the frontline workers, I say uh, thank you. And I hope that we all appreciate uh, the uh, frontline workers and say thanks whenever we can. Uh, speaking of uh, things uh, for pleasure, I mentioned uh, last week that I'm able to get some reading done. You know, I was in the middle of reading um, Black, uh, Black Detroit, which uh, I've completed now. And I also completed a, another book, this one by uh, Nancy Schlichting, uh, called Unconventional Leadership. Um, Nancy was the uh, previous uh, CEO of Henry Ford Hospital and someone I admired greatly. Uh, so I wanted to uh, read the book and uh, it, it was uh, uh, certainly worth uh, reading. So continue to do the things that provide enjoyment for you and uh, stay indoors and see you, uh, or at least um, uh, you'll hear me again uh, next week. Thank you very much.